ആലപ്പുഴ എവറി ടൈം യു സെർച്ച് ഫോർ ദ വേൾഡ് കേരള ഓൺ ദി ഇൻ്റർനെറ്റ് യു വിൽ ഷുവർലി ഫൈൻഡ് എ പിക്ചർ ഓഫ് എ ബോട്ട് ക്രൂസിംഗ് അലോങ് ദ ബ്യൂട്ടിഫുൾ ബാക്ക് വാട്ടേഴ്സ് ഇൻ ദിസ് ലൈറ്റ് ബാക്ക് കോസ്റ്റൽ ടൗൺ ദാറ്റ് ഈസ് ഫോർ ഷുവർ ദി ഐക്കോണിക് ആലപ്പുഴ കേരളസ് മോസ്റ്റ് റിൻ ആൺ ടൂറിസ്റ്റ് ഡെസ്റ്റിനേഷൻ ബൈ മെനി മീൻസ് With the paddy fields lying across the horizon, the life of the people here is almost completely dependent on the little boards and government buses. This is a beautiful location for photographs and village life experiences. It's a beautiful rainy day and I'm standing here in this inland village with no expectations or goals. just observing these people in their hometown surrounded by water water and more water i started late in the morning from my hometown in kochi just 50 kilometers away from alappi instead of going along the usual highway from kochi to alappi I'm going along the beach road so that I can avoid the traffic and crowds and of course enjoy the seaside and spend some time at the beaches. On the way to Alappi from where I am traveling there are an endless number of opportunities to get to the beach side. But of course it is always safe to visit beaches which are officially open to the public. This is one such a place on the way to Alappi. This place is called Andagarnari. How could anyone get tired of looking at the sea? There was a time in my childhood when I believed that the sea was endless, that we would never reach the other side, that the water just flows and flows further as you go. Anyway, this is the Arabian Sea in the northern Indian Ocean. The rituals and norms in India are countless. Here we can see a group of people doing something similar. I'm not quite sure what exactly it is, but it is time to leave as it is already close to lunch. And here is a man lost in his thoughts most probably and a dog lying beside him. I've always noticed the same scene on other beaches before. It's a classic according to me, some lost souls and sleeping dogs. Alapura is just 30 kilometers right from this beach. The Dutch and Portuguese all had their share of Alapura in the past. and that dates back to the 16th and 17th centuries in the name of trading spices and later under british rule by the late 18th century it is said that the place experienced a decline in its prominence as a center of commerce and culture i reached the town of alappi and kutanad my destination is not so far from here anyway this is a small district in the not so big state of kerala in southern india Once we are on the outskirts of the town the endless paddy fields will start showing up on both sides of the highway And this is a black drongo a bird that never hesitates to dive bomb any bird of prey that invades its territory and this behavior earns it the informal name of king crow isn't it fascinating that smaller birds often nest in the well guarded vicinity of a nesting black drongo and i saw these egrets and cormorants beside the highway in a swamp i'm not sure if these are migratory or sedentary birds but i have always noticed them almost everywhere in this part of india especially near the water bodies this place is called the rice bowl of kerala for a reason We are standing in the area which is said to be the lowest altitude in India and still a major share of Kerala's rice production is from here. 
one among the few places in the world where farming is still carried out below sea level. In Alappi, even motorcycles could take you only to an extent because the roads can lead to an end anywhere. Here, I reached the end of this road. And from here, the only mode of transport is by ferry service or by the little boats. The KSRTC government run buses are there to these places. But of course, there are limitations. People live here in harmony with water, to be specific. Here, every walk of life is connected with water one or the other way. It's a beautiful afternoon here in Kutanad, Alapi, but nothing is complete without some rain pouring down. The ferry service is a major lifeline here. Free of cost, people use it on a daily basis and they can also take their vehicle. I am there on the ferry crossing one piece of land to the other. A trip or a ride to Alapi is not completed without a ride in the canoe. The rain has taken a break for a while. This is the weather in Kerala these days. The rain may come anytime and go anytime. You have to cope with it. We went inside a nearby village and just like the pocket roads in a city or town, there are tiny waterways going inside from the mainstream. And these narrow waterways are surrounded by houses on both sides. According to the locals, after the severe flood that happened in Kerala back in 2018, most houses here are now occupied with boats. Just like our cars parked safely under the garages or porches, we can see boats parked here right in front of the houses ready for a ride anytime. It was almost late in the evening by that time. I continued riding along the inland roads and stumbled upon a scene straight from my childhood. These ducks were so common in and around my hometown back in the days. Duck farmers from across the state used to come to the paddy fields after the harvest if I am not wrong. Now looking at these scenes, I have so many memories from my school days.